Okay, so first of all, there's no such thing as a branded podcast. It doesn't exist. Not outside podcasting. To the listeners, there's only two kinds of podcasts. There's ones I care about and ones I don't care about. Which means that we obviously have to approach this from their perspective, not from our own, that from not from that of marketers or podcasters. A podcast produced by a brand could be anything. I mean, you can you could put commercials inside your podcast if you want for your brand so that you can keep your commercial aspects separate from your content. You could put commercials in there for other brands if you want. Yes, have other brands pay for your podcast in effect. Or you could you could have the content be about the brand. I know. I, I hear you. There are a lot of people out there saying, oh, no, don't turn the podcast into a commercial. But these days, a commercial better not feel like a commercial. You know? Only you can create a podcast with that inside perspective that humanizes a brand by exposing the stories inside of the brand, about the products, about the people. And Trader Joe's isn't the only brand that's big enough to get away with that. For some brands, yes, that may be a little bit too limited in scope, a little bit too narrow. But then again, the narrow path sometimes leads to loyalty. Niche is the new cool, they say. I keep hearing that, and I agree. With 2 million podcasts out there, you better find a way to do something that only you can do. So shout out to all my content marketing friends. Don't feel limited. Um, be creative. Be smart. Because the kind of results that you're looking for can't be achieved by following the rules. <laughs>